know all the pundits have been saying that the country hasn't been asked to sacrifice anything over the war in Iraq, but that's not true. George Bush is making a huge sacrifice. He's given up golf. I don't want uh, some mom uh, whose son may have recently died to see the commander-in-chief playing golf. Uh, I, I feel I owe it to the families to be as, you know, to to be in solidarity as best as I can with them. And I think, you know, playing golf uh, during a war just sends the wrong signal. Why, well, it's enough. It's enough to bring a tear to your eye. Oh, George, thank you for your sacrifice. George Bush says he's given up golf out of some kind of sense of solidarity with the troops in Iraq. Where does he get this stuff? Does he really think anybody's going to believe that? Come on, George. We can see your hypocrisy here. Over 4,000 U.S. dead, and you're still clearing brush at the ranch every weekend. Over 30,000, 30,000 U.S. wounded, and you're still off boating at Kennebunkport on the weekends. We have a suicide rate among Iraq War veterans that is four times the national average, and George is still fishing on the weekends. We don't believe it for a minute, George. You are such a hypocrite. First, let me thank absolutely everybody who has supported Tee It Up for the Troops. It's a great event. Uh, it honors our servicemen. And all of you who have pitched in to make it an even greater event than it was last year deserve our thanks and our acclaim. To the troops there and serving around the world, uh, let me just say that Barbara and I get very emotional when we think about your wonderful service to our country. Uh, we are the finest, greatest, uh, wonder most wonderful country on the face of the earth and that you were willing to wear the uniform. The president's father doesn't seem to have gotten the message. He's backing a charitable program called, are you ready for this? Tee it up for the troops. Yeah, it's a charity golf tournament designed to raise money for wounded Iraq War vets. The money raised goes to pay for scholarships so the troops can go to college. Back to the president, while his dad's out raising money for GI scholarships, George Bush, the president, is getting ready to veto the new GI Bill. What does the new GI Bill do? It pays for scholarships for college for Iraq War veterans. That's kind of ironic, isn't it? Listen, the truth of this is that George Bush isn't sacrificing anything. He's not feeling any solidarity with the troops. This is another cynical media game. Someone in the press office told George that it probably wouldn't look good for him to be out playing golf while the troops in Iraq were dying. It's the same thing at play with George's order not to allow any of the news media to photograph coffins coming back from Iraq. We're not buying it, George. George, it's time for you to take up golf again and give up the war. That's the sacrifice that we want. We must stop the terror. I call upon all nations to do everything they can to stop these terrorist killers. Thank, Thank you. you. Now watch this drive. I'm Paul George, here to tell you Orwell was an optimist. And he didn't shoot part.